how is it going guys we are going to fix the lighting on the rx100 so stay hello friends so uh, today's video is a special one because this is one thing that a lot of people have asked me to do like you know they keep on asking me how to convert the 6 volt rx under to 12 volt most of the guys who watch my video and go ahead and start doing the conversion are not able to find original coils so what they do is they end up buying rx 135 uh, uh, coils and those coils there are like multiple versions of it like you know there is the old rxg coil then there is the four speed coil then there is the five speed coil and then there is the latest model rx coil so what happens is when once they get these coils these coils don't fit into the magnet without rubbing it so the entire exercise becomes counterproductive and somewhere down the line these guys lose focus so even i thought you know buying those swiss coils is not a good idea so i was un trying to understand what we can do to improve the lighting of the bike so the vendor or the manufacturer of this kit reached out to me and he said that you try this let me know how you feel about it it not only improves lighting but also improves performance so i was little skeptical when it came to the performance front because um, to be really honest i am not somebody who would you know take these uh, easily and i am not somebody who would go ahead and believe that the performance will improve overnight you know without doing anything so you know especially these cdis which come in the market do not come up with a uh, proper dyno testing they say you know they come with a lot of bhp etc but usually that is not true so i am not going to belittle anybody or i am not going to say that this person's cdi is better than this person but what i'm going to do is i'm going to try this compare it with what i have stock on the bike and then give you guys my review okay so let me go ahead and start unboxing this so unfortunately i'll be using only one hand to do this um, so let's see what is in there okay so first of all we have to find the seams where this box joins itself so i think this would be a good place to cut it So this is a stator coil, um, if you look at it, it has two separate coils and it has a 
big charging coil as well it has timing marks this is the ignition coil this is the rr unit this is the cdi and this is a magnet the magnet is balanced so let's see how it performs on the bike now so that is what we need to do okay thank you if this is your first time to the channel consider subscribing press the bell icon and never miss an update so if you're new to the channel and you like these kind of things then consider subscribing so what we are going to do now is we are going to uh, install the new cdi kit on this bike for that we have to do some disassembly so i'll tell you what tools you need before we start the disassembly you need two t spanners uh, i have both 12 and 13 because the nuts under under the seat are 12 so we have to remove the seat and the tank to get full access to uh, the cdi and everything if i was just replacing the magnet and the coil i would just take this cover apart then you need a 10 mm spanner so that's what we have here to remove this and to remove this circle clip you need a flat head screwdriver so that's a tool you need um, this is for splitting the removing the magnet basically so this is same for hero and a splendor uh, only thing is uh, you have to use the opposite side the thread are opposite in this i'll show you how um, you know you can do that or remove the magnet using this then i have a normal nose player a player an impact screwdriver very highly recommended uh, with a uh, phillips head bit this is the big bit which i am going to use today and you need a hammer which i don't have here i have to get that and this flat head so these are a couple of things you need to take apart the whole bike so i'll tell you step by step how to do it so that you don't get lost um, so first thing what we will do is we'll remove the seat then we will remove the tank so these are pretty straightforward there are two nuts here one is under on this side and one is on the opposite side once you take the nuts off then there is a nut exposed on the tank so once you take that out you can just simply lift the tank but make sure the fuel is turned off and the fuel pipe is unplugged okay so i'll put you guys on a tripod while i do that so i have removed both the nuts from under the seat now all i need to do is just lift the seat now what we need to do is open this bolt and the tank will come out i mean nut uh, another thing that you have to be very sure is put all these nuts and bolts properly and make sure the petrol tube is disconnected otherwise it's not a good idea So I've removed the tank. Now what we have to do is we need to remove this magnet cover to get access to the coil and the magnet. Okay. So I'll show you guys how to do that. First thing we are going to remove is the circle clip. Okay. Next thing what we are going to do is we are going to remove this 10 mm bolt. For that you need a ring spanner like this don't use this edge always use this edge to remove it otherwise you know the chances of destroying the head of the bolt is very high so now we have removed the gear lever next what we have to do is we need to remove this cover and the bottom cover but the best idea is not to remove these three um, 
screws instead if you remove the rest it can come out as a single piece now that this cover is removed uh, the access is little easy uh, but then one thing that I forgot to tell you is you need a 18 mm socket which is little bigger than this this is a 17 and you also need a magnet holder like this okay so let me show you how to take this one out Now next step is to use this uh, magnet puller so it is not very difficult to use it okay so this will be available at a local tool shop this is the only um, you know expensive tool that you need um, special tool but this is a very good investment otherwise what mechanics do is if they don't have a magnet puller they will hit it with a hammer but chances of the crank losing its balance is very high when you hit it with a hammer so don't do that So we had actually disconnected the uh, connection that goes to the coil so there are two connections that come here so we have disconnected that next is we need to remove the uh, CDI unit and the RR unit okay as you have seen the CDI kit actually comes with its own RR unit as well as the ignition coil so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the old stuff from the bike So you have seen the unboxing, uh, this is actually the pulsar coil on the stator, it replaces this small coil. Uh, the manufacturer actually uh, you know, says that it increases the spark strength a lot, so we are going to check that as well. Okay. So the kit like you saw in the video comes with everything. Okay. So this is a neutral wire this needs to be connected here okay before we uh, connect the wiring uh, I'll show you how to put the magnet back okay because that is very important there is a small key it looks like if you remember your old Crossin tablets if you break them into two you will see a key which looks like this it's actually called a woodruff key okay so that is very important you shouldn't lose it i've neither removed it uh, nor i have uh, you know try to do anything in which it will fall down so it's now sitting in the perfect angle all i need to do is just slide this magnet if you see there is a key slot here so that slot needs to slide on top of it Make sure it is completely tight there shouldn't be any play and once you have tightened it make sure it is freely rotating without touching anything okay so this is the 
ignition coil that came with the unit this is the rr unit and this is the cdi unit which came with the unit okay so it's very simple it's plug and play i'll just show you how to connect these three and after that we are done we should be able to start the bike first thing is uh, connecting this stator coil output to the main wiring loop so this connector just plugs in uh, it's as simple as that so next is our cdi unit so all you need to do is just take these two wires and just plug this in as simple as that okay so let's plug it so next is the rr unit this is a 90 watts unit so your old rr unit won't work so you need to install this very simple as a ground wire and then it has a uh, has a ground wire and a three pin connector okay so it's plug and play again. so next is the ignition coil um, so there is this orange female which is in the loom so you need to connect the red male or whatever male comes in the coil to this orange female and this needs to be grounded somewhere so I'll use the same screw as ground and then this needs to be fixed here somehow so I'll probably use a nut and bolt and see if I can fix it properly inside okay after fixing everything i've just put the tank back and connected the fuel just to see if it starts uh, then we will if it starts then we will start connecting the rest of the bike okay The bike is idling as it is supposed to be and uh, we'll fix everything and then we will see how it is to ride the bike. guys i cannot explain to you what kind of a beast this has become okay so it is night time right now and i don't want to take any risks but the you know 100 meter that i rode this bike is literally wheeling okay it is literally pulling as if you know 
the the front end is going up actually this has a you know a sleeve cylinder so i never thought that is going to happen but it happened also the clutch adjustment changed because you know i didn't install the cover properly but i will tell you one thing guys it's just simply amazing you know there is no other word i'm telling you anybody who reaches out to me on my channel who ask me for a recommendation who tells me to help them buy a bike help them buy a part i always say no because you know i'm i'm not ready to put my name on the line for something that is you know that is something that i don't believe in and i'm telling you for honest this is one crazy kit you should see the light you know due to lockdown i could not get a 90 watt light so i'm running a 60 watt light right now but it is bright as day this thing is wheeling you know i can't believe it this has never done that i've never tried that to be honest and it, you know it, it pulls like a different beast altogether it's riding on the clutch right now but it is pulling very clean so i'm saying this was one of the best buys you know i i would never regret spending money for this and i'll tell you right now you know if you guys are interested in this kit i will leave a coupon code in the description and i recommend highly 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 that you get this and they will give you a discount when you give that coupon code get this and you just get ready to be mental you know this is crazy i cannot explain it you know it's, it's beyond everything i don't think i'm going to sleep now you know i just want to be you know tomorrow day and i'm going to ride this at least you know for half a kilometer or a kilometer because this is insane you know i i cannot express this in words this is absolutely insane so you should get one you know so i don't know you know i I'm, I'm fumbling for words i cannot say this again this is an amazing bike now performs like crazy and i'm in love with it okay so now i can show you how bright the light is in the darkness okay so we'll also compare before and after So you just saw how bright the light was even when it was idling and you heard the horn there is absolutely no battery connected in the bike so without the battery the bike is actually working you know like a four stroke in terms of electricity uh, the horn is working which is a great thing so that is definitely a great outcome so till the next time you know stay safe stay at home don't go out without a mask and check the description if you want to buy one i'll leave his number as well i i cannot even imagine it could do this to the bike crazy see you again bye bye